So there is no real pressure. But when you say something, and completely the opposite happens in the video, that's a problem. That's, the, that, that's why they don't show it to you. Now, are they the problem? No. The idiots who give them the reason to do that are the problem. I don't blame the thief. I blame you for giving him a ch chance to steal what you have. If you give a thief a chance to steal your money, he will do it. Steal a bank, he will do it. So when you are idiot enough or stupid enough and when you are a liar, you will give them a chance to keep saying these bad or wrong things because people will believe us. Lose your mind and you will say the same thing that true horse men say. Show me what you did and how you did it. If you do it in a good way, good rider, good job. If you do it in a bad way, bad rider, wrong uh, work or wrong job or bad job. Now, people who care about the goal and don't care about how they do it, the end justifies the means for them, keep it up. Good work. The final result is what you wanted. You have talent. Uh, you have, let's say, what it, take to, what it takes to do what you want to do, but don't call it true horsemanship. Don't say it's total control. Don't say it's harder. Automatically, when you say it's harder, that means you can do the easier things. I say this is harder than this. Okay, then do the easy thing. You will do it. They do tricks. They make the horse bow down, or sit on his back, or lay down, or rear up, or buck. They say it's hard. That's the real talent. That's true horsemanship. Okay, so do the easy stuff of true horsemanship. Ways of riding do. For example, full stop, making the horse move back, controlling the horse with the horses, controlling the standing with stallions and mares. It's easy compared to what you did, in your opinion. According to you, yes, do it. Asshole, liar, idiot, he will not. Is he the liar? Is he the idiot? Is he the bad guy? Or the ones who are giving him a chance to do that are the bad ones, are the stupid ones, are the idiots? Use your mind. Showing you the final result does not, although sometimes it's a cute result. It's a nice thing to look at. I'm not saying anything. I'm saying don't lie. Say to people, this is what I did with my horse, this is what I like, and they like it, and that's it. But when you say this is true horsemanship, this is the right way of training, this is the right way of training, then you are supposed to give us the proof to make us ride in your way of riding, give us the proof that you are better. I will not leave the good thing I'm doing until you show me something better. When the things that you will show me are things I did before you even started riding horses, no way that someone like you can convince someone like me. That's why they care about the ones who just started riding horses because it's easier to lie to them. So they say nice things or good things to win your vote, to win you to their side, that's all. The closest example for that is Satan trying to be nice, a devil, a demon trying to be nice. It makes no sense when Satan says good things or nice things, at the end his intention is bad. So bad riders, their intention is bad, what they do is bad, they say good things to win you to their side, to their corner. Good riders don't care about what, what you think because they only care about what they want to achieve. So whatever you say, they say, okay, keep it up. And they keep developing themselves. So instead of saying good things to win you to their corner, they waste their time with the horse instead of wasting their time with you. Bad riders say good things to win you to their corner. The same guy who said these good things treats his children in a bad way treats his horses in a bad way, treats his animals, cats, dogs in a bad way when you don't see it. What happens behind closed doors is completely the opposite of what you see in their videos. Fact, that's an opinion, go and see it for yourself. Ask him to show you a full video of the training process he will not show it to you. If he did, and I'm talking about bad others of course, or uh, wrong ways of riding, if he did, you will see completely the opposite of what he said. As for me, as for other ways of writing, which I consider good and right, they show you what they said. 
you like it or you don't, that's a different issue. But they showed you what they said because they said it after they did it. It's that simple. So text and good moves are cute, good things to do. How you do it is the real deal. Makes the real difference. When you talk to a good rider or a rider who had some experience with horses. But when you talk to a beginner, it's very easy to give him some good words and lie to him and say you love animals and he believes you and that's it. All it takes, good words, uh, pink halter, uh, red rope, uh, pink outfit, and the uh, person in front of you will believe you. But when you talk to a good rider, he will not believe anything and tell you, show him why. Not tell him why, show him why. I don't think that good riders can talk to you if you don't show them anything. God riders want to see. Even if you convince them on what you say, you have to see it. I have to see what he said. Show me. So that's my opinion about uh, uh, ticks and uh, showing off and his moves. If it's true horsemanship, if it's total control, then do the easier things that true horsemen do and you consider it easy or consider them easy. Show it to me. Do it. The same horse that you make there up, the same horse that you made buck, the same horse that you make uh, lay down or whatever, is the same horse who bucked you off his back when he was a babe. It's the same horse who kicked you when he was a babe. It's the same horse who lets you in one side and goes to the opposite direction when you don't have sugar and apples and treats. It's not true horsemanship, it's not true trust, it's not love. He's just doing what you trained him to do. When it really matters, he will not do it. I lay down here, I bow down here, and I take off there. And I buck there, and I rear up there. Do you trust me? No matter what happens, in the paddock, in leading, while you're riding, when I am afraid, I will stop. This asshole will protect me. This is true horsemanship. And if you do it, anything else is easy compared to it. What's the proof? Anything that bad riders do can be done by good riders. They do it in different ways. But the result is one. They cannot deny that the other side did it. You say you do it in a better way, they say they did it in a better way. But it's the same result. But what they can do cannot be done by good riders. It's that simple. They do everything you do with no exception. You did not do what they did with no exception. Some things that they do cannot be done by bad riders. So technically, there is nothing to talk about. Fact, not an opinion. Facts are things that you see. If you see something, it's a fact. Give me facts, give me numbers, so show me what you say, don't talk. So that's my opinion about uh, ticks and uh, moves and uh, liars and idiots.